Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on my video. This is Rocky here with my top moments from episode 15 of Gotham. So we actually see that Julian Sands kind of gets unleashed a little bit in this episode, but then they went ahead and held him back again with the writing. This was a problem I had with the previous episode and kind of continued on with this one. I did find the twist of Mr. Crane actually trying to eliminate fear an interesting one. They basically kind of merged some of Jonathan Crane's traditional origins with his father. In the comics, Jonathan Crane was uh, both a teacher as well as he worked at Arkham as a psychologist. I believe he was an intern. He experimented on inmates to perfect a toxin to induce fear in people. Due to his repeated exposure to this formula, he actually lost the ability to feel fear except for Batman. This kind of played back to his childhood. He had a fear of bats. That fear of bats evolved into a fear of Batman and pretty much, you know, plagued him continually in the comics. So this is somewhat similar to the effect of the drug his father made in this episode. In the comics, Jonathan Crane or Scarecrow also became addicted to the feeling of fear, so I'm not sure if they'll touch on that at all in future episodes or not. More than likely not because I don't know if we'll see too much more Jonathan Crane in this series, at least not this season. So Gordon is already kind of blowing it with Tompkins with his no work PDA. I mean come on, in last episode they went pretty much went at it full on in front of the whole Gotham PD and including Edward Nigma was I mean they're all just staring at them kiss. It was a very creepy scene, but yeah, and then now he's like, Nope, we can't do that at all. <laughs> kinda of funny. And it did make for some great moments in the episode of Gordon kind of squirming and wanting to touch and kiss her and everything but then wanting to hold back and Bullock was just playing off on it through the whole episode so really enjoyed those scenes. Plus we did get a mention of visiting the circus so you know maybe this is gonna tie into the amazing Graysons from the comic. I don't know I mean it's been mentioned repeatedly that they're going to show the Graysons at some point on this show so I think this is probably going to be that lead into that. Now, I did find the scenes with Bruce traveling the grounds to be pretty okay. I would have appreciated them more if Bruce had not, you know, basically thrown a fit, asked Alfred for help, and, you know, more or less whined about just wanting to go home. Honestly, I want to see the show go back to the, the Bruce evolving out of his childhood, as opposed to right now they kind of have him stuck in his childhood and you know I think that's just because they're trying to eat up more screen time with him at this point you know he needs to start evolving out of his childhood and start developing into that Batman persona that you know he'll eventually don the cowl and all that fun stuff so Penguin actually getting the club was a nice touch as his lounge in the comics became quite the meeting place for villains as well as you know for him to conduct plans with his minions and everything like that. I mean it was a pretty popular hangout place in the comics. I honestly could have done without so much screen time dedicated to that little plot though you know they did have to tie up the loose ends from last week of Penguin escaping from Maroney and kind of deal with the fallout of that with uh, between Maroney and Falcone. So again you know understandable why that had to happen I just felt they dedicated a little bit too much screen time to that. All in all this was a pretty okay episode with a few really great moments but overall nothing was really spectacular about it. The fish storyline I felt was not needed or at least definitely not as much as we got. I actually laughed when the leader of the prison revealed the only reason he was in charge was because of a tiny knife. I'm starting to wonder if her storyline is going to actually cross into the doll maker. As it was mentioned back in episode 2 that he's basically been capturing people to kind of experiment on so you know we'll have to see how that's going to play out but I do know they have been mentioning lately that the, the doll maker is going to make an appearance soon and it's definitely not going to be the same doll maker that was previously on Arrow in uh, season two. So yeah so we'll see you know if, if the storylines are going to cross or not. I think they might. Other than that I'm just not sure what they're doing with this whole fish thing other than you know showing her basically brought down to nothing and then trying to build herself back up to you know her her glory as it were. So based on the preview for next week, they are heavily, heavily teasing the idea of Joker. I really hope they're just messing with us. I personally, I do not want to see any mention or reference to Joker on Gotham until Bruce actually becomes Batman. That's just kind of a personal preference because I always kind of looked at Joker as what Bruce could have became if he, you know, had given into maybe his darker thoughts after his parents' death and things like that. You know, he could have went the route of a psychopath as opposed to a borderline psychopath that tries to do good things. All right, so let me know down in the comments below if you want to see Joker on Gotham or if there's another character you really want to see introduced. Also, if you have any questions about anything brought up in the episode, any of the characters, 
Go ahead and put those down in the comments below as well. I'll be happy to go over that information with you. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd ask you to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That way you can receive alerts when I post a new Gotham video as well as the other Marvel and DC videos that I'm doing at this time. And if you have gone ahead and subscribed to the channel already, thank you very much. I really appreciate you coming on board and I hope everyone's enjoying the videos. Alright guys, all that being said, I hope everyone has a great rest of your day now. Bye!